Well guys, welcome to episode 16. I'm at my local private pit. And um I'm just checking into the bag of um, walkers. Um usually I go over there and that's when but I ain't caught out for the last two sessions I've been in. So I've just relocated. Oh yeah. One, one rod's in that gap with the sauce boilie. Then the other's in that gap for that red ja uh, yellow jacket. Same bait, scad round it. It's in one re remove about there. But yeah, got a load of bait scat round. Everywhere really. So if I get a, a, a cap, It'll be lucky. So, um, got my granddad's fishing that other weed bed over there. I'm fishing this one. Fishing nice and tight, it's fitting my bobbins right way up. Um, so yeah. Got my pop bath and gown. Um, nice strong rod, real line. So yeah, in this session I hope, hopefully, I can bring you a carp. If not, I'm never fishing this lake again. So, um, see you well, later, guys. guys. update time, I've just lost, I lost him about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. Left hand rod. Uh, picked up my cup of coffee. Beep, 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 beep. Up pulled, I got it out of reeds. Fighting it with a bit of up pull. Leg didn't come off like I'd have liked it to, but. As you can hear, it's raining now a bit. Oh, fed up. I think this is my third session here. Last time I came here, I, I, I was going to do a filming, but I was so angry. I couldn't have bothered filming. Like when I lost that, I rage. Chuck my coffee up, what? Shouted out, so not really happy. I've got about two hours left. So if I don't catch one, I'm going to fish in this lake again. I hate snag fishing. And then that lakeside fishing normal, man. Private pit, they don't take out in the middle. They only take it margins, they only take certain baits. So they're not normal. Here, Oh, things just leap, leapt over, um, reed stem. This you have to snag fish for them. Here we go, round two, pick up the coffee. Come on, lad! Come on! Yes, we've got him! No! Uh, yes, come on! Grandad! Come on, you beast! Oh no. Woohoo! Well, guys, I'm into one and I'm not recording it because I need to catch this fish. They were a drop back! Come on, my beauty! Jesus Christ. Please don't come off my friend. Yeah, I've got it in edge. I'm recovered. Oh my god, it's about a pound. Quick is it edge? Yeah, I can't come any quicker. I'm going like hell. This is as fast as your granddad moves nowadays. Oh god, it's just lit. Oh, it's just flipped its pin. I'm recording here. I've I I recorded mine. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, come on! See, we're a drop back, believe it or not. Was it? Had it come towards you? No, it got shot towards them, Oh, right. Right, guys, I'll show you up, Matt. Cracking. Well, guys, as you heard, all that commotion. Finally got one out of here. Second run. Finally got one. I ain't weighed him yet. You should see how lovely and pristine this fat fish is. It's a rate stonker, just how I like it. 
I reckon it's about eight pound. Let's just see how fat it is. I love these fish. Yeah, look at him. Look how fat he is. Eh? What a creature. Oh, not only small, but what a fight. As you heard me shouting when I upped it. Oh, I'm not surprised he's knackered. I gave him a rape by I bored him out of there. Well, short session carping. Look at Ed on him. Look how thick he is. Gonna click kick there. Oh, yes, I'm definitely having a picture with this fatty. Look how fat he is. Look at his belly there. Here we go. Running up Max, so he's fine. Absolutely fine. One more go. There we go. Look at him. May even reach nine because he's so fat. I love these fish. I'll just show you the other side of it. Don't know if there's any different, but I can't hold them on this side. So, um, there you go. Look at that creature. Really small, but we'll get a picture with him. Get him weighed in that. Get him in net for five, five minutes. Yes, cracking stuff. Well, guys, another update. Nearly end of session. I've just lost another left hand rod again. So I've had three runs on left hand rod, no on right. Uh, I mean, it, it can't get any tighter now. That it it it, there's a, it goes out like that. Right, it goes like that and then like that. And I'm fishing like here. And what they're doing is they're running into them. So they've got so they're not charging out. They're charging around. So well, that one just got like, jammed in reeds. I mean. I couldn't pull any harder at all. It just went. Pfft. I was straight on rod. My granddad's just lost another as well. Um, but yeah, that fish that I caught, uh, ten pound on the nose. Believe it or not, I couldn't believe it. Like. Yep, into another guys. Well, right, guys, I'm gonna hurry up. Thought that were a carp then, so. Right hand rod, you should see how bronze he is. There we go, about a pound and a half, two pound. Let's put him back because I want to get, get another car. Great. Well, guys, as I was saying again, yeah. right hand rod a bream. Unfortunately, it were a car, but unfortunately, we weren't a car, but you know. Uh, that's my fourth one. I've had one bream, one car, um, and I've lost two car off the left hand rod. I was just on about out right. I just landed. Just on about that right and right on any action, and that's cleaned off. And then I've just cast that that cast that I made on that right and rod was about ten foot off reed. Exaggerating, but you know, miles off reed. So um, that that produced that bream. So I've just recast that in this little gap perfectly. As I say, when I've stopped fishing, I'll show you where I was fishing. Because if I show you now, then I'll get a run. Cause that's what normally happens, and as as you saw, then I have to be smack bang on my rods, or they just in. I was smack bang on left hand rod then, and it, it still got in. So, but that, that one that I caught, I was knit on it. I was just like, Phew. it was rock but like my instinct was to just grab it and pull. I couldn't have pulled any harder with that one that I just lost. Um, it just shot, as I said, to the right at reed. Just put uh, about 15 more boilers out. Boilers I'm using today on this session was is sauce. Um, boilers. So um, yeah, seems to be working. Um, so I found a spot now to fish here this lake. Um, so yeah, definitely fishing here again. Not, um, forgot to mention that my first. Uh, Carp snag fishing. So, um, I've caught them from this lake before, but not snag fishing. I've had one in the middle of the lake on a zig rig, and then there's this bay behind you, and then that's where I used to fish a little nook and cranny just under arm in it, under this tree or floater fishing or whatever. Um, so, yeah, just a quick session, really, after school and session. Um, hopefully, I should have this uploaded by tonight. Uh, must be about 25 past 8, half past 8 now. We're staying well about quarter past 9 until it gets dark, half 9, something, I don't know. Um, 
My granddad's had two cart runs, lost them both. Unfortunately, like, this is just a, a, I've lost two cart and landed one, so. Still need second, so they ain't over yet. So I'm just, I'm just getting ready for to strike at the fish for, I get a run. Uh, sorry that I aren't turning camera around and filming, I've just got to bully them out. I can't, I can't fan in about that. I've just got to knock myself out, you know. I've just got to hit real and hold, really. Um, I'll just move back to you uh, down there. Pull uh, half a reed stem out of water. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you haven't left me a present. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. I'll bring you another cap for end. Hopefully I can. And it'll be a decent size, £15 plus. Um, £20 plus. <laughs> they might like it. So yeah, keep up the subscribing and that. I think I'm on 57 now. So that's great, great stuff, guys. Thanks for the support. I'm loving it. Um, I might be going this Saturday. I don't know. Depends what what it's like. Um, Cause I've got some family stuff and that going. But I might be, I might just pull off a session on Saturday. Don't know where to. Maybe to my private pit. But I don't know. That's just a big maybe in it. But if not, then sorry, but I might be going to Stubbs Hall. If I don't, I don't, but I might, I'm not going to Rustics again, I don't think. I think that's it, me, at Rustics. This is just not a, there isn't carp in there to support me. I mean, I've had enough catching them now. I mean, I want to catch some PBs and that. 18 plus, 15 plus and that. I don't want to be fighting around with all these little ones. So yeah. Hopefully before I end, uh, I should be holding another fish for you. If not, then it's not really the end clip because I have to show you my rigs and that. in its eye. But yeah. See you later guys. See you later. Well guys, a bit disappointing. Well, loads come off left and right. I thought I was going to get a screen because all reeds are knocking. Look what it was. Look at that scab. Look how dark it is because it's um, clear water here. So I'm going to get him straight back because I want to catch a that one left and one again, so that's my second breed. Guys, all packed up as you can see. Uh, just about to leave. Uh, I'm just showing you my spots. I'll show you my rigs when I get back to our house. Uh, my left hand rod, where I got my carp, were over there. Just to the left of that yellow thing there. That's where I got three carp runs, a bream, something else. And then my right hand rod was in that like cut there, there's like a cut in there and that's where it was and that didn't produce out apart from a broom. So uh, yeah, I'll show you my rigs when I get back home. Uh, so I uh, will see you uh, episode um, 17, no this is episode 17, is it? No idea what episode it is but I will see you in episode 17, yeah that's it, episode 17, this is episode 16. So yeah, keep the subbing up. Um, you guys keep the subbing up. I love the love the support you're giving me. Um, as you can see, you're probably packed up now. You see quiver thing in the infinity that I showed you at the last episode. So yeah, thanks for all the support, guys. Um, thanks for all liking my videos and that. Keep that up. Uh, I, I, I will, I'm loving the support. Um, so uh, a great little after school session for you here today, uh, episode 16. So I uh, hope you enjoyed me catching that carp. Oh, got a pain there. So, uh, yeah, midges are out now, so, oh, I've got a pain here. Uh, so, yeah, I'll uh, see you in episode 70, so subscribe, please, up there. Comment, rate, whatever. Like, thumbs up. Love you all. See you later, guys.
see you in episode 17. I'll show you my rigs and that, hopefully. Oh, screw it, I, I can't bother showing you my rigs, it's just... Oh, there's this bucket here, wasn't it? Right, so the rig that produced all my cart was that uh, a size 8, quarter B, curved shank B, a bit of shrink tube, a micro rig ring, a snowman setup as is done on Wells Spalford. So, and as you can see, when that lifts up, it sits like that. And then that's coated to there, that's coated 20 pound braid. And you got that length, hook length, and uh, just a loop tied at end. Uh, that's, that's the rig that did all my cart. And then the, the right and wrong rig was that fella. A bit of shrink you want up. Probably my favourite rig that. See that? Look at that. That produced, that's just a fluorocarbon rig. A bit longer. Uh, that produced um, another bream. That weren't right and rod. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, like, subscribe. Thank you very much. See you later.